1.3d, exponents in order of operations, order with absolute value. Absolute values work just like parentheses. But they make the final number inside positive. only after it has been simplified. This means you must complete all of the operations inside of an absolute value before you can make the number positive. We will see this in example one. In example one, we once again write PEMDAS down the side to ensure that we do the order of operations correctly. Remember that an absolute value or these vertical straight bars are going to act like parentheses. This means that we must do them in step one if there is something inside that can be evaluated. We start by then working our way through the order of operations, which means we would do exponents before we would do the add or subtract operation that is shown inside. As you can see, there is no parenthesis around the negative with negative 4. This means that only the 4 is being squared. We show this off to the side by repeating 4 two times because the exponent is 2. This results in the number 16. We now have 3 minus 2 absolute value, 7 minus 16. Remember the negative was not part of the squaring and therefore must be carried down. We now continue with inside the parentheses in the sense that we still have something inside of our absolute value. We have 7 minus 16. 7 minus 16 results in a negative 9. Remember to determine the number and the sign you use your rules for adding and subtracting integers. We have yet to evaluate the absolute value, therefore it must still be shown, and all other portions of the problem are brought down. At this point, we now move on to evaluating the absolute value. In order to evaluate the absolute value, remember it turns whatever is inside into a positive number because it is the number's distance from zero. This means that the absolute value of nine, negative nine, is nine. In order to ensure that you have not interrupted the operation that is intended, whenever you take a number out of an absolute value, you put it into a parenthesis. This way, when you bring down the rest of the problem, you can still see that we have a negative 2 times 9. Had I not done so, I then would have ended up with 3 minus 2 plus 9, which is a completely different problem and would be incorrect. Next, we have now completed the parentheses, the exponents, and all we have left is multiply and subtract. We do the multiply first. Therefore, we have negative 2 times 9 which will result in a negative 18. We bring the 3 down, leaving us with 3 minus 18. 3 minus 18 is negative 15. Remember using your rules for adding and subtracting. Negative 15 is therefore our final answer. Example 2 also includes an absolute value, but it also includes many operations both within 
and outside of that absolute value. It is helpful to write down PEMDAS to ensure that you are doing the order of operations correctly. Remember, an absolute value is treated as if it is a parenthesis. This means you must do what's inside of the absolute value before evaluating it. This means our first step would be the multiplication of the 4 times 2, as multiplication occurs before adding and subtracting. 4 times 2 would give us 8, and we would bring down the rest of the problem exactly as it was written above, only changing the 4 times 2 to an 8. Next, we still have an operation inside the absolute value of 8 minus 6. 8 minus 6 results in the number 2, which is still inside an absolute value, still has an exponent of 3, and we still have a negative 4 squared after it. At this point, we may now evaluate the absolute value as there are no more operations inside. We then determine that the absolute value of 2 is 2. Remember, an absolute value turns all values to positive, and once evaluating, you must put the number in parentheses. We then bring down all of the pieces from above. At this point, we have finished parentheses, or in this case, an absolute value, which acts as a parenthesis. We now move on to exponents. Exponents may be done from left to right. In this case, we must first do 2 to the third. 2 to the third would be 2 times 2 times 2, which would result in 8. We now have 8 minus 4 to the second. 4 to the, negative 4 to the second, we must identify whether the negative is included or not. Remember, to include a negative, there must be a parenthesis around it. There is no parenthesis, so it is merely 4 squared, which means we repeat 4 twice, giving us the answer of 16. This means that the negative is brought straight down and is still part of the problem. We have now completed all of the exponents, and there is no multiply and divide to be completed. We can now move on to the add and subtract stage. We have 8 minus 16, which once again we use the rules for addition and subtraction, in which these have different signs. Therefore, we subtract them, getting the answer of 8, and we keep the sign of the larger number, which was negative because of the negative 16. Our answer, therefore, is negative 8. Remember, when doing problems with absolute values that have many operations, you must complete all operations inside of an absolute value before you can evaluate it. Also remember that once evaluated, you must place the answer in parentheses.